I'm Liana Dagbashian and you're watching the news broadcast on the state television company of Western Armenia. Today's broadcast. Meeting with the Yerevan office of Western Armenia. Artsakh and Western Armenia football teams to participate in CONIFA Euro 2021. The status of free communities of Kashatakh is still uncertain. 52,231 people returning to Artsakh. The metal black near Portasar causing alarm. Today is Simon Achikyozian's Remembrance Day. Support to Western Armenia TV. Interview with the Deputy Director of the RAA Foundation, Rafi Kortoshian. A meeting of the members of the National Initiative Social Political Movement took place at 7 p.m. on February 4 in the Yerevan office of Western Armenia. A number of issues were included in the agenda of the meeting, but the key topic was the Artsakh issue as an integral part of the Armenian issue. Before touching upon the main topic, Doctor of Philosophy, Professor, Candidate of Mathematical Sciences, Grigorian, Candidate of Philological Sciences, Associate Professor Markayan, made a short historical excursion on the topic of discussion. Then the participants of the meeting exchanged their opinions. At the end of the meeting, the participants agreed to make more meetings, to discuss, to find solutions to current national problems. The football teams of Artsakh and Western Armenia will participate in CONIFA Euro 2021 as reported on CONIFA's website. CONIFA Euro 2021 will take place from June 9 to 19 in Nice, France. Artsakh hosted the championship in June 2019. Today, 80 people or 25 families live in Agavno village, Kashatakh, Artsakh. 38 families left the village during the war. They haven't returned yet. The mayor of Agavno village, Andranik Chavushyan, expressed concern over the newly renovated school in the village, which was left without a teacher, and the resettlement of free settlements of Kashatakh. There must be an official statement from the state. If we say Sus, Agavno, Berzor remain, we should not only say, but we should make people come back, he says. After the war, almost the entire territory of the Kashatakh region of Artsakh came under the control of Azerbaijan, except for free settlements. The regional center of Berzor, the adjacent villages of Nerkinsus and Dagavno, but their status is still unclear. Residents of free communities with unknown status in Kashatakh are now waiting for a decision. At this moment, the only hope is the support provided by the country. What to do tomorrow is unknown. Russian peacekeepers continue to ensure the return of Artsakh people who left their homes because of the war. As reported by Armen Press, the Russian Ministry of Defense informs, a total of 52,231 people have returned to Artsakh since November 14, 2020, the Russian Defense Ministry said in the statement. Based on the decree of the President of Russian Federation of November 10, 2020, the troops of the Russian peacekeepers were deployed in Nagorno-Karabakh. The base of the military is the 15th separate motorized rifle brigade of the Central Military County. Lieutenant General Rustam Muradov is the commander of the peacekeepers. A metal black was found near Portasar, the zero point of history in Urfa, Western Armenia. Security forces are investigating who installed the metal pillar with the words If you want to see the moon, look at the sky, written in the Turkish alphabet. The 3 meters long, 45 centimeters wide metal block was found in the morning in the field near Portasar. The police detachment, which arrived at the scene based on the alarm, is taking precautionary measures in the area, and the staff of the State Department of Culture and Tourism has started the investigation of the block. Simon Hachik was born in Galat in 1939. His father, Hovanes, survived the genocide against Armenians. In 1946, Simon and his family were repatriated to Soviet Armenia. He studied at Yerevan Secondary School No. 24. In 1955, he entered the Faculty of Geology of Yerevan State University, graduating in 1960 with a degree in Engineering Geology. Achigezan defended his dissertation in Moscow in 1970. He was awarded the title of Senior Researcher in 1984. From 1960 to 1991, he worked at the Institute of Geological Sciences of the Academy of Sciences of the Armenian SSR, offered more than 70 scientific works, engaged in translations. He has been lecturing at Yerevan State University for about 11 years. He sang in the Narek male choir in Khorvirab Monastery for many years. Achikyozian was elected a member of the Foreign Relations Committee at the First Congress of the Armenian National Movement in 1989. The same year he joined the Arabo Volunteer Detachment, took part in the self-defense battles of Gnishik, Yerashk, Areni, Khachik in Yagagnazor region, Boskepar in Noemberian and other border villages, then left for Artsakh, assuming the command of the detachment of Arabo in Martunashen on April 19, 1991. He died on April 30, 1991, 
during the self-defense of Martonashen while preventing the ring operation carried out by Azerbaijani special forces with the support of the forces of the USSR Ministry of Internal Affairs. His body is buried in the cemetery of Kanaker Zeytun administrative district of Yerevan. By the decree of the President of the Republic of Armenia of September 20, 1996, Ashigezan was posthumously awarded the Combat Cross Order of the First Degree. The state television company of Western Armenia does not make personal advertisements, but shows the official Armenian language of Western Armenia. This language is like a natural melody of the people's breath, reminding the uniqueness of identity, the heritage of ancestors. Like other languages, our television wants to present our desire to keep and to defend it before all instances, to show that its existence and development depend on its use, speech and expression. To support Western Armenia TV means to preserve, protect, develop and expand the Armenian language of Western Armenia and its Armenian section. On Western Armenia TV, the deputy director of the Studying Armenian Architecture Center, Rafi Kortoshian, presented the book catalog of works of Armenian art in Syria. It presents the specimens kept in the Holy Astvazadin Church, which has been turned into a museum in Aleppo. Kortoshian referred to the purpose of creating a catalog, which is to make some works of Armenian art recognizable in Syria, and spoke about the work done and future plans. Now we present you Amsar Yaman by Sasun Ensemble. The full version is available on the official website of Western Armenia TV. This was all for today. Goodbye.